So, if you want to know about this film, here you go. Now, this movie is streaming on Netflix exclusively at the current time, and and, th and this film just came out this year. But guys, <laughs> what? What? The, what? But, but, but first off, I just I like it. Just it bends my mind that not only it, like it, this was to, like granted, you know, they had to like you know they have like hundreds of hours that they had to stitch stitch together, you know, to make this film after the fact. But, but for the love of God, the, the fact that this is like the final film legitimately from Orson Welles. This is a, an unseen, uh, previously unreleased Orson Welles film. is completely mind-fucking me. Like when it, when it said, uh, you know, written by Orson Welles and then like it says like directed by Orson Welles at the beginning. <laughs> Luckily, this movie is fantastic. And in some ways, it kind of... When you when you think about how layered and um, how intentionally confusing this film can get at times, it kind of reminds me of aspects from uh, from this right. Here. Not only is this movie a time capsule, but it is also Orson Welles' final film. It is also uh, the movie is about a fictional documentary on a fictional legendary filmmaker, and we are witnessing. Uh, this filmmaker's last day alive on Earth, and simultaneously we are watching the characters in, in the film throughout this entire film are watching uh, a, a movie directed by this fictional legendary filmmaker. So in a way, it's sort of like we're watching two films, it's almost like we're watching two different films simultaneously for the entire runtime. Not to mention, the movie is uh, very visually, visually metaphorical in my, in my opinion. Uh, the cinematography is stunning, okay? There, there are countless, endless shots that, that, that look like they, like, they look like they were just shot today. But they weren't, because they were working on this film from like, they were working on this film in the 70s. Like, the, the, just for context, the, the, the main character of this film, this legendary filmmaker, okay, that actor... Uh, John, John Huston, who, you know, he has the best, I mean, he, he has the best, the best performance in this film, by far. All the performances are solid, but, I mean, all the performances are convincing, but his performance is monumental. It's just fantastic because he's just so utterly believable as this eccentric, kind of a douche, um, kind of a Steve Jobsy type of filmmaker, you know what I mean? There's so many moments that are like borderline kind of like trippy because like the editing is just so frenetic and, and, and it's just so fucking quick and details are coming at you like fucking bullets and you have to be fucking paying attention when you watch this movie. I mean, like there's, there's different aspect ratios just ever changing. Uh, like like seemingly every few minutes, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's black and white, sometimes it's color, sometimes there's like multiple colors on screen at once. Like this incredibly almost like hallucinogenic feeling moment that takes place um, at like this bar or this club. By the way, Oya, I don't know how to say her name, but this woman right here is, she she's like the... The, one of the main leads of the movie inside of this movie. Okay, that woman is fucking. Every time she's on screen, the sequences are so hypnotic and and just intoxicating. And that woman was so. This woman was so fucking fine. My God, was that woman sexy? Shout out to my man Orson Welles. <laughs> At the start of this film, after the opening credit sequence. Uh, after it says directed by Orson Welles, literally the first thing you see is a room full of naked women. Just like laughing and bouncing around. And I was just like, man, Orson Welles was a bad motherfucker. But yeah, there's just, there's just so many like, you can tell, there's just so many like Easter eggs, uh, particularly in the dialogue. Um, there's so many different edit editing techniques happening all at once. Uh, there's so many fantastic, inspiring um, cinematography choices, so nostalgic, it's so masterfully made, uh, ah, oh. but yeah, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a 10, I'm just, I'm just going 10 out of 10, uh, because, 
That was just so much. And I just loved it.